everybody. How you doing? Oh my gosh. How's everybody? How's your week been going? Tonight, guess what I made myself for the very first time? Fish tacos. And let me tell you, they look absolutely the bomb. I have these, like these mini tortillas. They're like small. And yeah, that's what I used. They were still frozen and all that. I don't know how to see fish tacos. Oh, and it's breaking through the bottom. So I thought I would try this out. Hmm. 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 Okay. I should have had the um, them already all the way on thawed when I got them out. Like, I should have gotten them out, like, hours ago. And had them unthawing. And then I should have warmed them up, like, in the oven, maybe. But these are really good. And I diced up some lettuce. And I actually seasoned the fish with some sole. And diced up lettuce. Had cheese melt on top of it. And I'm using Taco Bell's pack packets. So, but this is really good. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. And this is my dinner. I'm having two of these. Do you see how little well they are? It's considered one helping, right? A recommended helping. And for dinner, for lunch, I had one sloppy Joe, and I counted out. 31 pieces of corn chips but of course I was good for my lunch but when I got home I kind of went a little berserk I didn't eat the rest of the chips that I had that my mom bought me for my lunches it was chili cheese um, corn chips So, so this is what's been going on with me. Um, after my surgery, I had surgery on April 18th to remove a lump in my breast. And they said if any infection starts, it's going to start in the beginning after, in a few days after the surgery. Um, it's not really high, it's not really most, it's not really like you know, it's not really like, you know, it doesn't usually happen at weeks and weeks after the surgery. Well, in my case, three weeks after the surgery, I noticed that there was some, some infection. And I've been trying to get up there for my surgeon to see me, the one that did the surgery. And I'm having such a hard time right now. Mm. I should have toasted these. Mm. This is so good. But, yeah. Want a bite? There you go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. So, 
I recall Job and Family Services because um, if I just call the cab company and make a uh, um, appointment, you know, make you know it myself call, I have to pay for it. Through going through Job and Family Services, um, my Medicaid and Medicare will pay for it, and so and that's why I go through them. But I have to let them know in two weeks in advance. So if I make an appointment with the doctor, I have to make it two weeks from the day that I call Job and Family Services, which has very been very hard for me. And I still have not heard from the people that are going to be my providers to see if they would even be able to provide for me. And I don't want to wait until they call me and say, hey, yay, we're going to be able to provide for you. To be like, oh great, the first thing that you can do is take me up to Cleveland Clinic for my doctor's appointment on this day and this time. Because what if the infection gets worse and spreads throughout my body? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I hope it doesn't. Well, I've been taking oral antibiotics. And it doesn't hurt. I have not hurt since the day I had the surgery. I have not had any pain. Sorry, I'm not trying to touch myself. Sorry, YouTube. I'm not trying to touch myself. But I'm just saying, I have not had any pain. Which is good. Um, but, like, it's just, this has been really sucky. And this Friday, I have a meeting with, um, my individual consultant some people for like jobs and stuff you know because they're going to be helping me get a job so that's this friday at 11 a.m so yeah it's just been really crappy this whole thing has been really a crappy experience Very crappy. Warming them up in the microwave, the tortillas made the edges kind of hard. <laughs> And I called my individual consultant, but she acted like she didn't know what she could do. If I can't find a way up there, she's going to have to take me. Her boss has no, you know, can't say no to that because it's important. I don't want to die of infection. So... One packet left. That was my last bite. And then I found out that okay, so the day hab has been great. I love it. I love open armed. 
and I know that um, in order to in, to participate in the daily activities, I have to give some money, right? Well, there was this one thing that they do. They take their the people out every Tuesday for coffee. Well, I was never told from the very beginning. I was never told that I had to pay for it. Like I had to give a couple dollars in order for it to get a coffee. That that coffee comes out of the money that I give them a month. That it, the, of the certain amount of money that I give them a month. I was never told that. Well, today I was. So, and they said that from now on, unless I give them a couple dollars, like a dollar or two dollars, I don't know exactly how much you have to give them. I think it's like a dollar and something cents, whatever. I'm going to have to pay for it myself. Buy my own coffee. Well, in a sense, I'm buying my own coffee anyways if I'm giving them, if they're taking it out of my money that I'm giving them a month. And I do owe them. I owe them for April since I started. I started in April. I owe them for April. And I owe them for May this month. Because I started in April. And I've given them some money, but I didn't give them all of it for all the activities that we've done. I have $5 somewhere, and I need to find it. So, so far, all, she, all she's asking for right now is $6, but I still owe her more than that. But, um, yeah, so I have to give, gather up $6 somehow and give that to her. But, like, literally, I thought that was something that they were doing out of the goodness of their heart, was just buying them coffee and a donut once a week, one day a week. I thought that literally, they, this was the first time and the only time that they told me that I had to pay for it. Whatever. But, yeah. And then, so I'm waiting on a call on my providers, providers, whatever to see, to find out if they will be able to fit into their schedule to service me, to provide for me transportation to places I want to go. Uh, excuse me. And then I have a meeting Friday. And then I still have to find out if I'm going to be able to get a ride to check, get this checked out. Um, or Jesus. And... Um, oh, when I find out that in order to not lose my SSI and SSDI, because I'm on both, SSI, Social Security Insurance, and SSDI, Social Security Disable, Disability, that one is because of my dad, okay? In order to lose, not in order to not lose that, and to not lose my Medicaid and Medicare, my Medicaid, I am only going to be able to get a part-time job and only work for like 30 hours a week. 25 to 30 hours a week. Um, and not, you know, yeah, I have to be very careful. So that means that I could, I, that I could never have my own business. That I could never have a very, you know, a good job job that pays me a certain amount an hour. Like, I can't get a job that pays me $15 an hour because unless I want to work only 15 to 20 hours a week. Really? But whatever. I'm going to be grateful for whatever. I'm grateful. I'm going to throw away my trash, which is this, this. So, that was pretty good. I liked it. And I'm saving the rest of the fish for my mom. I hope I didn't make it too spicy. Because I did add some sol. So I used olive oil. And then um, I seasoned it with sol. And then that's it. That's all the seasoning I used. And then I used... Um, oh my gosh. I used... I chopped up some lettuce. 
I have a leftover in this. And then I used this kind of cheese right here. And then I used this kind of tortilla. It's it's the mini tortillas. It's the little ones. See? Little. Anyways, now that those are kind of unthawed, I can't put them back in the freezer. So, yeah. And then whatever packets I had left of Toco Bell, I used those. And I have one packet left. So, I'm going to put that back. But anyways... Yeah, that is what's going on with my booty. Someone keeps on getting a bottle of water out and leaving it. Like, what the hell? Seriously. Drink your bottle of water. Stop wasting. <sighs> Sorry for that little rant. <laughs> but anyways. And I'm not trying to rant about, you know, what's going on in my life. I'm just letting you know. Anyways. Oh, some of you suggested uh, doing a... Um... Like a things that I don't like, like you know, in general, like like things that get get on my nerves or whatever. Um, I'll do that sometime soon. And um, and all that. So I'll do that soon. But anyways, keep giving me ideas and. I will do my best to look up all those who have given me ideas, write down their names, and then as well give you props. Like, you know, give you like, shout out like, this idea came from this person, things like that. I will do that. Um, yeah. Anyways, thank you all for chatting with me. I appreciate you. I truly do. I am going to, I actually feel very satisfied from that. Even though there were just two little tacos. That's a healthy serving that... Yeah. One serving is two tacos, two small tacos. <laughs> well, anyways, alright. I will see ya later. Love y'all. Bye.